Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am totally hoping this is in frame. <sighs> if any of you know how to get this frame off of my camera on my phone, it's, it's like it's cut down my space, and it has like a frame on each side. I don't like that, and I don't know how I got it on there. It used to not have it on there. I've done something. But anyway, I wanted to share with you. Uh, I don't think I shared my <clears throat> weekly spread for uh, April 13 through 19. Um, as y'all know, we are in the uh, shelter in place. So therefore, there's not a lot going on. Basically, just paying bills, uh, doing the regular housework. There's nowhere we're going or nothing we're doing. So, these spaces so far has nothing in them. Uh, I have put my uh, menus up to Wednesday. Um, Monday night, we had smothered chicken, mac and cheese, and, and uh, green beans. I just put veggies, but that's the veggie I used. Last night we had hot dogs and chili, and tonight hubby that had laid out some fish last night, got it, he put it out in the refrigerator for tonight. I think he's going to grill it on the grill, and I'll fix something to go with it. Probably like some rice roni and a veg, vegetable to go with it. So, we have that, and I'm not sure yet... Uh, I'll just have to wait until I decide what we're going to have for the rest of the week to put it down. I just decorated all the middle boxes. Uh, I decorated most of the, the bottom boxes, except for over here is the grocery list. I'm, uh, as I run out of things, I'll put it over here. So I'll know what to put on my grocery list when I make it up. Uh, I have not done any house cleaning like I have mop for Monday. Clean bathrooms and iron for Tuesday, dust for Wednesday, wipe down appliances and scrub kitchen sink for Thursday, uh, clean mirrors for Friday, clean knobs and light switches, covers on Saturday, then Sunday naturally, there's no work going on on Sunday. So, and then my, my craft, I, you know, what I do for my crafting is in my other planner, but... There we go. That's the planner for uh, the spread for this week. Uh, but I wanted to tell you, uh, I was needing to go ahead and purchase another planner or something to use as a planner. What I mean, an a extension to the planner, however you want to say it. I decided instead of buying a brand new planner and having to spend 30 something dollars, I decided to um, just buy the extension. So I took out all of, from January to, um, no, from July to December of last year was in here. I took it out. So I had bought an extension and that's what this part is. So um, I'm having to each month, you know, put the month uh, on there and you know put the dates and all on it because it's an un undated planner extension is what I what this is so I was really needing an, another you know because June will be the end of this planner what I had so I was debating do I want to buy another planner whole new planner or do I just want to buy another six month extension and wait until the end of the year to buy a new planner and then buy one that starts at January of 2021 and try to get an 18 month one and it will go over into um, 2022 and then I can buy an extension for it and that way I'm using my planners for two years uh, instead of buying one every year so so, I decided to go ahead and do that and buy the extension. So, this was part, you know, this is for May and June. This part here, uh, 
with the extension I already had and so I just purchased another extension which is didn't realize they have two different patterns of extensions so you won't have the same pattern throughout like if you buy uh, two of the extensions and have it like I'm doing uh, didn't think about it I bought the very same one <clears throat> so but that's okay uh, another reason I didn't want to spend the money on a brand new planner I hardly ever see the front of my planner anyway I do want the, the you know the durable uh, cover but I leave my planner open on my table all the time so I hardly ever close it and see the front of it so I wasn't in no big rush to get a brand new planner because I never see the front of it anyway so I just bought the new extension so now I have uh, the extension for the next six months to do through December so that is my daily what I call my catch-all planner where I keep it on my table anything that I need to write down you know appointments I do put appointments here so we'll have them um, where mama can see them um, I, the only thing I don't put in this one is my crafting stuff I put my cleaning I put appointments I put anything that I any other thing I do I put in my catch-all planner so this here is my uh, planner and it will be good until the end of the year and then I will consider buying a brand new one like I said a, a brand new 18 month one that will last me through another year and a half and then I'll buy extension and it will actually last me for two years so that's what I have there now let me grab my other planner I'll be right back. Where are we going? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, this planner here is my appointment camp planner or my on-the-go planner. I keep it in my purse, which again, I hardly ever see the cover of it. <laughs> but I keep it in my purse. And this is like when I'm off from home and there's doctor's appointments, um, you know, different things that come up that I need to put in that I would need to transfer to my catch-all planner. So, uh, this stays in my purse. Well, right now we are on April, and because nothing is going on, these appointments have up to... This one has been canceled, um, and as far as I know, this one will be canceled also. Um, this was, Mama was supposed to go to her family doctor on the 23rd. Uh, that's Thursday. It won't happen, because uh, right now they're doing it on, you know, the appointments on uh, the phone. So, um Therefore, I am not pulling my planner out and putting it into, you know, the week that it calls for because there's nothing. I'm not decorating the weeks. Um, you know, I, I'm not putting, I don't have any appointments because all that goes in this is like appointments or like if I'm away from home and I need to write something down to transfer to the other planner but as you can see it doesn't get used a, a whole lot um, it gets used but you know right at this point it's not getting used so uh, this will go through June so after June I will need you know a new planner for my purse uh, this one here uh, let's see yeah, it's just a year. It was from July to June. So, I really like this little planner. But, I'm just not really... I don't decorate it very often. Uh, every now and then, I'll pull it out and decorate. 
was trying to see if I could find the page that I decorated. Most of the time, I just write in this planner what I need to, you know, the appointments and stuff, and I hardly ever, as you can see, there's a lot of places where we didn't have appointments and it wasn't used or anything. Um, I decorated this one and didn't even go anywhere, you know, didn't have anything to put in it for that week. So, what I decided to do for my purse, this here is called a, a mini happy planner. So, what I decided to do is go with the mini skinny happy planner this time. Okay, let me see if I can. So, I, I decided to go with the mini skinny this time. In other words, not only is it the mini size this way, but it's skinny. It's only about half this, as wide as this one. Now, um, I'm going to show you how this one's laid out, and I think this is going to work better for me because that way I don't have to, um, I won't be worrying about trying to decorate it. I can if I want to, but it's not something, you know, that I feel, you leaving? Okay, bye-bye. It's not something that I feel like I just have to decorate. So, it says brilliant, bold, fun, bright, pure, uh, beaming, chic, playful. And I love yellow, so I got the one with the yellow cover. It is a year planner. It's from uh, July to June. It's a 2020 to 2021, but like I said, it starts in the middle of the year. Um, and it's a, a called a mini skinny planner. Uh, this here is uh, all the months of 2020, and this is all the months of 2021. And then um, the I can't remember dashboard. I think is what they call these. It says stay colorful, stay colorful. I was thinking that was different words because like I was doing this here <laughs> stay colorful babe is what that says okay the layout is what I really like about this one this here is your monthly spread this is all of your days of the of the month uh, it also has the little you know over here so you can see how what you know how it's set out like it starts on Wednesday um you can jot down things here you need for the month. And the layout, the monthly layout, like on the day, say you have an appointment on the 6th, like a doctor's appointment, uh, you would just put doctor's appointment. You wouldn't have to put all the details of the doctor's appointment right there. Just put doctor's appointment. And then you would come over here and you would find the 6th. And then you could put in more details. Like I would put in, say, like Mama goes to... Um, Michelle, which is the nurse practitioner, and I'd put the time and all that here. But that would let me see at a glance through the month, you know, what doctor's appointments or whatever that we had. And then the layout for the weekly is, you know, just small spaces, just big enough really to write down a couple of appointments or whatever. And that's all I need. Um, Monday, June 29th, uh, June 30th, July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. And then it's got a little place here you can write some little notes if you need to. You know, if you need to write something extra down that you don't have. And I just, I really like the way that is laid out for the week. It's big enough for what I need for in my purse. Um... So this here is the month of July, and it goes on into um, August 1st and 2nd there, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then it has a place that you can put notes. Now, August says more color. I'm just going to show you each dashboard now. Look how pretty that is. That's September. October says life is a million colors. I just, I love this because I love colors. 
November is Color Me Happy. And I just think that is so pretty. December says favorite color, all of them. And really, for me, that's true because, I mean, I do love yellow. And I love pink. And I love purple. And I, I really used to love red. I don't dislike it now. But I guess I've kind of just changed my favorites. But really all colors I love all colors so that's December again like I said that's the monthly layout uh, January says radiant positivity I like that February is just a bunch of beautiful colors with a kind of a silver kind of looks silver in a way but then it kind of looks gold in a way but it has a heart and then March is colorful stripes. Then April, I love that. It says, the best color in the whole world is one that looks good on you. Aw, I hadn't even looked through all this. I'm looking through it for the first time with y'all. I like that. Then May, happy, 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 happy. And it's yellow. <laughs> And then June, stripes are my favorite color. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. It has a bunch of different colors. And then that is June, and that's the end of it right there. But um, live creatively. Creatively. And then the back is, has the Happy Planner. But I wanted to share that with you. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, for the fact that I really don't have to worry about decorating if I don't want to. Or I can if there's not a lot going on that week. I can add a couple little colorful stickers. I don't have to worry about a whole lot of decorating. Um, so... I think that's really neat, and it's going to be nice for my purse. It won't take up a whole lot of room in my purse, so I think that's really neat. I like it, and I wanted to share that with y'all, so I'm going to get off of here. I've got a lot to do. Um, I'm, I, <laughs> I need to sweep and mop and all the other things that I named over, but I just I can't right now with my... I don't know. I guess it's arthritis. But you can tell the difference in the color of my arm right here. I don't know if you can on camera, but in real life you can. It's like it's swollen. So therefore, when I tighten, you know, move my arm and tighten that skin, it makes it white. You know, like when you're swollen, it kind of, and you touch it, it kind of leaves it white. But it's my thumb here. It's probably arthritis. But right here in my thumb, and it goes all the way up to here. And it's even sore to just touching it. But I cannot hardly move that thumb. I mean, that's as far as I can get it without it starting to hurt. And when I'm doing things and I forget and I make it go back too far, I just, I scream. It hurts so bad. It just, it's like when I move it too far... It's like somebody's just ripping all of that out in there. It's just horrible. So right now I'm not able to do any housework that's using a lot. Like I said, I can't even hardly get my hair combed. My, you know, the necessities of getting dressed and getting myself washed up for the day or whatever. It's just, it nearly kills me. But I don't like being dirty. <laughs> so, I. Uh, take care of myself every day <laughs> even though it hurts like crazy i don't go without getting my shower every day so anyway i wanted to share my um planners with you and let you know what i'm going to be doing and i will talk with you all later have a great day bye